All right, hey there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith here with an update on what we saw earlier this week on Wednesday with a water spout over Mobile Bay. And I wanted to give you a more in-depth analysis of what happens with a water spout because it's something that a lot of people who live down near the beaches around the bays or spend any time near the water in and along the Gulf Coast in the summertime have experienced. And so these are common off of Destin, Pensacola, Pensacola Bay, Chaltahatchee Bay, Mobile, Mobile Bay, Mississippi Sound, the Gulf of Mexico. So it's something that happens quite easily because over the water, you know, there's nothing to really uh, cause any issues to, to restrict a water spout from forming. There's hardly any, there's no friction, no trees, no land. And so it's really easy to get that rotating column of air over the water. And when you have a big water spout, it can look scary. And there are times when you have a water spout where it's actually a tornado over the water and it's dangerous, but most thunderstorms in the summertime are not tornadic and most water spouts in the summertime are not super dangerous. They can cause problems for small craft and small boats, but they normally dissipate as soon as they make it onto land. They normally fizzle out and don't prompt a tornado warning. So let's take a look at the water spout that we saw. And here's the first shot here, and this is a view of the water spout out over the bay. This was earlier this week, and this was an impressive scene here. So uh, very scary to, to see a water spout, and uh, Daniel Sweat sent this picture in here from Sunny Cove, and a little more about water spouts. So it's a rotating column of air over a body of water, and it's usually a funnel-shaped cloud, and it can happen from any cumulus cloud, but especially a thunderstorm and there are non-tornadic water spouts and then tornadic water spouts. And this was a non-tornadic water spout, which is not a tornado over the water. It just is, you know, a rotating condensation area, area of, uh, of water, a funnel. And it's, doesn't, it's not actually drawing the water up out of the bay. It's actually just a, a the condensation is actually occurring within the rotation. So it's, it's kind of like a cloud that's just really swirling. And uh, most of them happen in tropical and subtropical areas. So they're very, very common. And they happen most often in the summertime. I'm gonna show you another shot of a water spout here. And uh, here's a, a, a look, this is Kimberly Jones. This is one of the best pictures we got in. And so this thing's swirling out there and there's a lot of wind involved. Uh, with a water spout and it can be dangerous for small sailboats and small fishing boats, but it's not something that typically a large craft would have a problem with. And so, you know, they can form in an ordinary thunderstorm or just a cumulus cloud. And they happen in moisture laden environments. And you know, we've seen a lot of moisture in our area here lately. Uh, we've had a ton of thunderstorms around. And so, you know, they, they form up and spin and create a water spout and they're non-tornadic so that kind of gives you an idea a little bit more about it they're usually no stronger than an ef0 tornado so winds less than 67 miles per hour so it would essentially be a severe thunderstorm or less uh, as far as their intensity i would expect this one was probably pretty close to being a severe thunderstorm right where that column is occurring or the water spout is um, occurring. So there are different stages of the water spout. This would be when it was fully developed here. Uh, eventually they kind of rope out and fall apart. And I've got another shot of the water spout here. So let's take a look at that. And this is another great shot of it. This comes from Fairhope. This is from Sea Cliff, which is just between Fairhope and Montrose really and Perry Somersell sent in this picture. It's kind of interesting. All these pictures coming in through our Fox 10 weather app. So, you know, people sending in pictures, we appreciate it. It gives us a good idea what's going on. If, we, if everybody didn't have smartphones, we'd probably just be having people saying, hey, there's a water spout over the bay. By the time we get a photographer out there, it would be gone. But nowadays, we get pictures like this pretty often. Uh, this is a little different though than when we actually have a tornado over the water. That can be a serious thing and that happens most often in the fall, winter, and spring when we're in our severe weather season. It usually is accompanied by a uh, tornado warning, but there was not a tornado warning for this particular water spout because we didn't see the rotation on the radar. It was so weak that it formed the column, but it didn't actually 
it would, the dynamics were not strong enough for this to be an actual tornado. That can actually be picked up on radar and we can see the rotation in the cloud. And uh, that's something that we have had happen before. We have had a really significant tornado over the water down around Dolphin Island years ago, and that actually clipped part of the island and created a lot of damage there. So, you know, this, this right here was an ordinary uh, water spout that formed up over Mobile Bay in an ordinary thunderstorm. We didn't even have a warning out uh, for this particular rotating column of air. So what can cause a thunderstorm? Well, uh, any what can cause a water spout? Any type of thunderstorm. This is a look at the radar this afternoon. If you're watching us live, this is what's going on now. And it's possible that one of these clouds could get over the Gulf and form into water spouts. Now, they're most common in the morning over the coastal waters. If we look out over the coastal waters, there are a lot of little individual thunderstorms out there, and there probably are some water spouts going on right now out into the Gulf of Mexico. But if we switch over to our velocity product here, and we look out for rotation, what we're seeing is all the colors are just about the same. Now, right here, there might be enough rotation in this thunderstorm where you have the red and the green right next to each other where there's probably a water spout going on right now. And this thing's pretty far offshore, so not going to cause any problems, but there is some weak rotation, not enough for it to actually be a tornado. But right now, and you know, it's great about the storm tracker here. I'll just go ahead and show you. So this is currently about 32 miles offshore. There is a possible water spout going on right now. And it's neat that we can see the detail, what's going on in the atmosphere. We can tell whether there's rotation or not. In this case, there's some weak rotation offshore. It's not a tornadic situation. It's probably just a water spout situation. The dynamics for tornadoes are most common when we have changes with the temperature, when we have big fronts coming through and a sharp contrast and kind of a bare clinic environment instead of more of a tropical type environment, like we see in the Gulf Coast in the summertime where we're getting these air mass thunderstorms. And just thought it was neat that we had this really cool water spout. I'll pull it back up for you one more time here so you can see it. Um, I'll get it switched over. There you go. This this just a crazy sight, but then again, pretty common to have water spouts over the coastal waters in the summer and it's something that uh, we'll see more of no doubt throughout the summer but this one was a little more unique because it was over the north part of Mobile Bay and so everybody saw it. I mean you could see it from Dog River, you could see it from the causeway, you could see it from the eastern shore and uh, that's what we try and do here on Next Weather is talk about things that are neat, maybe go a little deeper than what we would normally talk about on television, a little bit more of a conversational approach and hopefully this was insightful. There's a really good Wikipedia article on uh, water spouts too if you want to learn more about them. Uh, the main rule is that, you know, if you see a water spout and you're in a boat, just avoid it. And um, if you're at the beach, you might want to come in because it can knock over beach chairs, that kind of thing. But they're typically not a significant threat. The biggest threat is the actual thunder and lightning that, uh, lightning that occurs in the thunderstorm that's producing the water spout. That's going to be by far the biggest threat, followed by just some of the gusty winds that may be surrounding it. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better, but at the same time, shed some light on what happened across the Gulf Coast earlier this week. Thanks for joining us for Next Weather.